Are you considering taking your hobby and making it into a business? If you are, then I have a few things that you need to think about. Coming up next. Hi, I'm Diet, and welcome to Turtle Creativity, where we make crafting and crocheting easy. Today, I'm excited about this topic because today we're gonna talk about what you need to consider when you're thinking about taking your hobby and making it into your business. So, I'm rolling up my sleeves, we're not crafting or crocheting today, but we are talking about something that is very important, especially when you're thinking about taking your hobby and making it into your business. So jumping right on in, let's talk about the first thing you need to think about. What's your vision? What is that ultimate goal that you're trying to get to? What is it? Is it to have a storefront? Is it to have a booming online business? Is it to be booming on YouTube? Like what is your ultimate vision for your hobby to become your business? Because if you don't know what your vision is, you can't set goals. That's the next thing you need to think about <laughs> is your goals. Think about your vision and think about your goals. What is your goals that you're gonna set for yourself over the next four weeks? Okay, so let's let's just let's just start there. What are your goals that you're going to set for you to achieve in the next four weeks? Then what is your goals for the next three months? What are your goals for the next six months and roll that thing out to what are your goals for the next year? Because if you don't know what your goals are, if you don't have those milestones that you're beginning to hit throughout the journey of be making your hobby to your business, then you're going to just be like, oh, all over the place. And that's not good. You have to set your vision that you're working to achieve. You're setting your goals. That's going to help you have those milestones or like what I like to call them, call it check-in points to see where you are to get to your vision. And then once you know what your vision is, once you know what your goal is, guess what's the next thing you need to do? Write the plan out. You need to create a business plan. So that's the number one thing that you need to do when you are considering taking your hobby and making it into a business. Because see, what is a hobby? Let's, 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 let's just dial this thing all the way back. What is a hobby? A hobby is what you do that you'd like to do, it's fun. You do it a little bit and you enjoy it and it's like, ooh, 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 this is what I do. I, I like how I do this. But when you're ready to make it a business, then you kinda wanna make some little money with it, right? So hobby, you do it, you do it for fun. If you get paid for it, eh, okay, you know, it's your little side thing. But when you really wanna take what you do on the side and really stream that into your business, then you need to begin to really, really understand what is the plan to make that happen, okay? And when, you need, when you're ready to do that and you're really serious about doing that, then you need to take the time before you think about what my business card gonna look like or what my website gonna look like before you can start thinking about that or the packaging or what I'm gonna be selling. You can't go there without creating a plan because all those things that I talk about is a part of your plan. But without a plan, without a plan in place, you, it's hard for you to get there. You have to know your vision, know your goals, and write your plan. Make your plan clear and concise because people will begin to take you serious when you begin to say, I want to take my hobby and I want to make it into a business and bam, here's my business plan. Because I've already taken the time to think about exactly what I want. I've already taken the time to know what my vision is. I've already even taken the time to do my goals. I have my checkpoint places intact. In, in and I'm really serious about this thing that I want to do. And then when you're serious about it, you will create a plan for it. So number one, create your plan. All right. Are you ready for point number two? Point number two. Okay. So when you're considering taking your hobby and making it into your business, you need to really, really, really know everything there is to know about that hobby. So for example, 
if I want to take my crochet that I love to do and I want to make it into a business, then I need to look for, is there certifications that I can take so I can be like the master crocheter? Um, I need to know everything there is about the different yarns that are available. Um, I need to know about the different crochet hooks. I want to know about the different crochet stitches, like patterns. I want to be able to be very vast in my knowledge about the thing that I'm doing. Because when you're taking your hobby and making it into a business, you want to let the world know that, hey, you come to my business, you come learn from me because I have all of this knowledge, all of this experience. I'm taking myself serious. Not only do I practice, 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 practice at home, but I cared enough about my hobby to make it a, to make it into a business. But not only that, I cared enough to further my education to get this certification. Or I took the time to further my education and watched whoever um, on YouTube. But I took the time to pour into myself so that I can have all of the knowledge that I need to become better in my craft. You have to be willing to not only say, yeah, I'm gonna take my hobby <clears throat> and make it into a business. You have to be willing to continuously pour into yourself so that you can stay up on the latest trends. You can stay up on what's new. If there's a new, using the example of being a crocheter, what's the new yarn out? What's the new hook out? What's the new stitch out? Like what are <clears throat> people crocheting now? What are people buying now? What is the trends in, um, is it crochet purses or is it crochet um, blankets? Is it crochet hats? Is it scarves? Like what is the trends in that thing that you're doing? So you need to make sure that you're becoming an expert in that because that is not only going to help you become better but it's going to allow for your business to boom so if you're thinking about taking your hobby and making it into a business then you need to think about pouring into yourself to educate yourself so that you have the knowledge the skills and the drive to take your hobby and make it into a business okay you feel me all right let's move on to the next point okay point number three Let's talk about time. Time is so important and it's something that you need to think about because I want you to stop and I want you to think about, do you have the time to make your hobby into your business? Okay, forget that. Are you willing to make the time? Because right now where you are, you may not have the time to take your business, I'm sorry, to take your hobby and make it into your business. You may not have the time. You may be working, you may have a family, you may be in school, you may be doing this, you may be doing that, you know, all this other stuff. Plus you got your side little hobby and you may got a few little orders and you, you know, you got a whole lot going on. So you may not have the time at all right now as I'm talking to you saying, well, where am I gonna have time to sit down and do all of this, Diet? Well, let me tell you what you're gonna have to do. You're going to have to sit down and you're going to have to look at your little schedule and you're going to have to look at the things that you do in your life and you have to say, what am I willing to move, shift, turn around in order to take my hobby and make it into my business? See, when you transform yourself to think about, I'm not no longer going to do this as a hobby and I want to do this as a business, then that means you're going to have to think about sacrifices. Okay, and creating a business takes time. It takes time for you to actually sit down and think about what is my end result vision going to be? What is my goals that I want to achieve? How am I going to plan to get to that? You actually going to have to take time to think about what are the certifications do I need? What are the things do I really want to become an expert in? If you're a painter, how many different companies of paint are there? What about the paint brushes? Where am I going to get the canvases from? So you have a lot to think about. You're going to have to carve out the time in order to do that. Because any good business owner puts time into their business. It's not something that you can only put five minutes in and then 
Ooh, I'm this wonderful boss lady or boss man. It don't work like that. You have to be willing to put time in because right now you may have a nine to five, whether that is you working out or whether you working inside, whether you um a stay at home mom or a stay at home dad, whatever the case may be, whatever you're doing from nine to five, more likely your hobby is not your nine to five. Your hobby is more like your father nine. It's the things that you do in the afternoon. Maybe it's the things that you do on the weekend, but you want to start switch all of that around and you trying to make your five to nine your nine to five well if you're trying to do that you have to be willing to put the time into not only yourself to better yourself but you need to put the time into your business so you have to figure out what am i going to shift what events am i going to have to say you know what i can't make it that happens when you are trying to become a business owner with a flourishing business. You may can't go to every little event. It, it, it just it just is not going to happen right now. But it's okay because your what's your vision? See, that's why you got to set your vision. What's your vision? What's your end goal? What is your goal for the next four weeks? Because see, I, it's easy for me to say I'm sorry I can't make this event because I know I'm working towards this vision. But if you don't know what your vision is, if you don't know your goals, if you don't know your plan to get there, then when Sally, Sue, Billy, whoever say, oh, we're going this place, that place, then you're like, oh, what you got going on? Well, I don't have nothing going on. All right, I'm going to go. But when you know your vision and you know your goals and you know your plan and you know how you're trying to better yourself, then guess what? You're like, mm -mm, I can't go out with Jody because... I'm working on my certification to become the top the top crafter. I'm working on my certification to know all the paints in the world. You know, so you know your vision, you know your goals, and that helps shape your time. Because time is something you can't get back, y'all. And so what you pour into your time, what you pour into what you're doing, doing those precious moments and precious seconds, make sure that you are doing those things that is going to enable you to take your hobby and make it into your business. I'll see you in the next one and subscribe for more.